Listen to this. Some custom sounds added to our custom entity. More in-depth topics for Minecraft modding available in the 121 modding courses linked below, covering writable and tameable entities, custom entity armor, and even custom entity inventories, among many more awesome topics. Alright, we found this back and tell you once more, and in this short tutorial, we're going to be adding sounds to our custom entity. So the idea being is that, well, our custom entity right now, I don't think it makes any sounds actually, which is obviously a little bit strange. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some cool sounds over here. So we're going to make this sounds right here, just a little bit of a comment. And the first thing you could do is literally inside of the entity itself, just start typing in sound and you get a variety of different methods over here that you could in theory overwrite. Now, in our case, we're going to use the ones that return a sound event. Idea here is that those are the ones that define what sound event will play when a certain thing happens. So, for example, if we were to override the get ambient sound method, then this is the sound event that we're going to return that is going to play just as an ambient sound. The same thing happens with the get hurt sound as well as the get death sound. Those are the three that we're going to overwrite. Now, if you want to use ones that we've added ourselves, we could in theory say mod sounds dot and then, you know, use like a, a magic block fold dot get or something like that. That would absolutely work. But of course, that doesn't make a lot of sense. You could also add some custom ones as well. But I'm going to do sound events dot and then an ambient over here. Let's take a look which one we could take. So this is going to be an ambient for a... Mm, this is going to be an interesting one. Maybe the... Elder Guardian could work. I don't think that that's necessarily the worst idea here for the Triceratops. Then the Hurt Sound. Now that's going to be an interesting one. This one is going to be a Hurt Sound for, for a big creature. We could think about putting this into the Ravager. I think that would work absolutely. And then the Death Sound. Now that one is going to be a rough one. It's going to be Sound Events. Dot. Which one are we going to take Right here, let's go for a crazy one. Let's use the sniffer, because why the frick not? Now, those are our sounds. And like I said, you can literally just type in sound and do a couple of other ones here as well. Obviously, you can also literally just type override. And you can see there are so many different methods to override. It's actually crazy how many there are. As per usual, you know, play around with this a little bit on your own time. And that is the best way to learn how all of this works. But regardless of that, let's jump into the game and hear if it works. All right, found us back in Minecraft and let's just spawn a couple of them and listen. Oh, that is, I mean, okay, maybe a little bit of a crazy sound, but fair enough. Let's hear the hurt sound. It's a little crazy too, but there we go. And now uh, let's just uh, maybe take a better sword out over here and let's see. And, I mean, I feel like that kind of works, right? Like in terms of the sounds, do an ambient sound. Hello, do an ambient sound. Okay, then there you go. <laughs> I don't know. I think it kind of works. That's custom sounds added to your mob. Awesome. Of course, this will only serve as an example. You can change those sounds to whatever you like. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about throwable projectile entities. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.